What's going on, my guys? It's Corey from Lion Dads back with a video for you guys today. But uh, before we get started, I want to remind you guys to go to lion dads.com, link down in the description, and check out my free PDF on getting started with a carnivore diet. It's got everything you guys need to get started on a carnivore diet, start losing weight, getting your taking your health back, getting back in shape right now. It's got a shopping list in there, uh, everything you need to just get started for the first month or so and <clears throat> start losing weight now. Uh, for today's video, getting into it, what I wanna talk about is the role that your environment plays in your uh, life, okay? And, and, and uh, not just going over diet, that it is a big part of your carnivore diet or any diet you decide to do, and I'll talk about that a lot today, but uh, it goes over, you know, the, the role your environment plays and like your success as far as your professional career, your family life, your health, your fitness, everything. So in my opinion, you know, fixing your environment is one of the first things and one of the most crucial steps in doing anything to make improvements in your life. I noticed um, whenever things aren't 100% right or whenever I need to make some changes, make some improvements, the first thing that I always try to look at is the environment that I'm putting myself in, right? and seeing um, what I can do to make things better, uh, more efficient, and just taking out the negative you know, influences and temptations that I might have in my life. That way I can just keep things running on, um, on all cylinders and just keep everything tight and efficient. So being that you know, <clears throat> uh, the carnivore diet and my thoughts on that, and that's the way I eat and things like that, and the way I kind of teach you guys to get lose weight, get back in shape. Uh, that's one of the first things I'll kind of talk about in this video is uh, your dietary environment, if you will, you know, your nutrition and things like that and how your environment that you put yourself in kind of affects your diet, right? And so it all starts in your home. It all starts in your household, the way I look at it. Uh, you know, it's where hopefully you can you spend most of your time um, you know, your home is home is where the heart is, right? But uh, for you guys who with families, you know, and everything, or even if you're just living by yourself, but the, the majority of where you're spending your time and where you're doing things and where you're eating and hopefully where you're eating and everything is in your home. So the, the first place you need to look at as far as environment and how you control that is in your own house. So when I first started my carnivore diet way back in the day. Uh, the problem that I faced was I just I decided to start it and we had a whole bunch of crap in the house. You know what I mean? The processed foods that <clears throat> I knew weren't good for me, but I you know didn't really care or think about you know suddenly if they were a problem, but they were still there. They were still in the environment. All the different foods and you know sweet things and processed crap full of seed oils and all that stuff that was killing me from the inside was still in my house. The things that were holding me back from achieving my overall fitness goals and just being the best, most optimized version of myself, they were still in my house. And so the, one of the first things I had to do and one of the first things that I always recommend with you guys when you come to me for help is I recommend first and foremost getting rid of all that shit. You know what I mean? Getting all those foods, all that processed, unhealthy crap, all the sweet stuff, the corn syrup filled, you know, um, sugary sweet things and, you know, your soybean oil condiments and all that kind of stuff. Your mac and cheeses, your instant mashed potatoes, all that stuff. Even if you're not following a carnivore diet, I recommend getting all the processed middle of the aisles of the grocery store junk food horse shit out of your house. It's the first and foremost most important thing you do. I don't care how much you spent on it. I don't care about any of that. Donate that, give it away, sell it, whatever you have to do or just throw it in the trash. It doesn't matter, but you can't live a new lifestyle <clears throat> if all the things that were, you know, killing you before are still around you. You wouldn't uh, recommend that a, a drug addict, when he gets out of rehab and he doesn't have money for a place to stay, you wouldn't tell him, well, just go find a crack house to stay in, right? You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't recommend that to somebody like that. You wouldn't take an alcoholic and make him go hang out at the bar after work every day, right? 
you know what I mean? Those are things you just want to, you want to keep that environment clean for yourself. You want to put yourself in an environment, especially in your own home, that's like your safe, like most, you know, cleaned up place to stay. Uh, you want to make sure that you, your environment is able to sustain your new lifestyle for your well-being, right? So that's one of the first things you need. You need to commit to, okay, I'm going to change the way I eat, the way I, you know, look at my, my nutrition and my health from that standpoint, my fitness, everything like that. So what do I do in my environment to make that better? You get rid of the, the foods you don't want. You bring in the foods that you do want. And I, you know, I recommend <clears throat> if you can't do all of your cooking, at least 85, 90% of your cooking you should, or your eating, you should be doing in your house. So get all the foods that you want to start eating and bring them in. You know, if you plan on doing a carnivore diet, like I said in my PDF on the website, I've got a shopping list. You go there, you just buy all that stuff, bring it into your house, get rid of all the stuff that's not on that list, and here you go, you're off to the races. You know what I mean? That's probably the best way to do it, is just bring in the foods that you want to start eating and take out the foods that you don't want to eat. And that's just an example. If, you know, the carnivore diet's not your thing, and you want to do a more like balanced sort of thing, fine, whatever. Go get your carnivore, like your your meats and your vegetables and fruits, whatever it is. But you know, as always, I always, you know, I I, I do a carnivore diet because it works for me and I really enjoy it, and I don't have any of the issues that I used to get when eating certain like fruits, vegetables, things like that. But moving on, I digress. You know, the biggest thing that you need to do, though, is take out those foods that don't fit your lifestyle. If they don't fit your lifestyle, they have no business being in your house. You have no reason having them at home. The other thing you need to think about is how much you're eating out, how much you're going out to eat and doing things like that, um, socializing and stuff. You know, I, I preach on this channel, especially for you men, you dads out there, having a social life outside of your home, outside your household, outside your family, having other men that you connect with and, you know, collaborate with and share ideas and, you know, build with and things like that. that those relationships are super important and I don't want you guys to, you know, take yourself out of those kind of activities and those sort of things because you're scared of what, you know, kind of foods are out there that you might be tempted to eat. But you do need to understand and you do need to remain conscious of the fact that when you do go other places and uh, there's food involved, there's other things like that, um, whether it's you know alcohol even or anything like that, you, you have taken control out of your own hands at that point. You know what I mean? You're not, in, you're not back in the kitchen, you're not preparing the stuff. Anybody can tell you one thing and you can end up taking on and taking in consuming things that aren't quite fitting in your lifestyle right like you need to understand that when you leave your house you're not in your environment anymore and you are now giving up some semblance of control so that is something you need to keep in mind you know what I mean you need to be prepared for that I always prepare for that by making sure that I am well fed and full before I leave my house that way, if I do go out and eat with guys, that's fine. I, you know what I mean? I'll go to like places where people are you know, eating or having a beer or whatever it is, and I don't need to partake in that, and I can still sit. I can still share in the experience. I can still gain something. I can get information back, whatever it is that I'm trying to do, collaborate, hang out, just talk about stuff, shoot the shit, whatever it is, you know. Those are things that you need, you, you need to come up with strategies to keep as much control of your situation as you can you know and keep it keep that into your own hands like I said you leave your house you go to a restaurant you go to someone else's house whatever it is you're giving that control over that food or over you know whatever you're intaking to those people you know what I mean so that's just something you need to think about food for thought if you will no pun intended but control your when it comes to your diet you need to be in control of your environment as much as humanly possible right uh, moving on a little bit we'll talk about I want to talk about kind of your professional environment a little bit too uh, you know <clears throat> you're getting into a world now where a lot of people are like working from home 
a lot of us like our, myself are trying to like you know we're starting our own businesses starting our own side hustles things like that doing things in the house which is awesome i think it's a, a great opportunity for you to explore a lot of different things and start making money doing things we're interested in and things like that i think every man every dad should uh, explore that explore you know some of their favorite things they have in life look at some of their skills you know take a good uh, evaluation of yourself and say how can i use this how can i monetize this how can i turn this into something where i can share my expertise share my experience with others help other people out and also you know benefit myself and benefit my family and make everything better you know what i mean there's nothing more rewarding than creating on your own doing things in your house and you know coming up with things that excite you and get you jacked up and making money off of it you know and, and start seeing a light at the end of the tunnel where you can ex escape your bullshit nine to five job stop listening to you know if you have a douchebag boss or something like that you can't stand listening to you don't have to listen to his ass anymore be your own boss you know what i mean that's kind of the most rewarding thing that i think we can do that's the best part of this of what i'm doing here you know i love the fact that i'm coming and i'm creating something and putting my ideas out there and trying to you know get better at this get better at recording videos get better at creating products get better at conveying my message to you guys and seeing your results and getting jacked up about it and you know supporting my family in the process it's an awesome thing it's an awesome thing to be able to build and and create and do things like that and i think a lot of guys are sitting there and they're wasting away making a shit ton of money for somebody else and not really doing anything for themselves you know and i think that's something that all all men should at least explore you know what i mean at least do <clears throat> justice to yourself by exploring that so but the first thing that comes with that is you got to create an environment that allows you to do that right you got to create and you got to make an environment that allows you to sit and be creative and come up with ideas and you, the first thing that comes with that is you got to start removing distractions from your life you know you're gonna have to put the phone down you're gonna have to get off social media you're gonna quit having to follow sports twitter whatever it is or you know watching movies watching netflix sitting on the couch watching reality shows and shit when you can be sitting you know hopefully like so my example i have an office here in my house and it's got everything that i need it's an extra basically it was an extra bedroom i moved a desk in here i've got my camera my laptop and all that kind of stuff set up i got a couch in here i can kind of sit if I want to sit and think in a little more comfortable spot or whatever. I don't have a lot of crap in here. Um, I have some books and things like that, you know, but I'm trying to keep as much distracting stuff out of here. You know, you can leave your phone out of here if you need to, whatever you need to do. Um, when I'm in here, I'm not surfing the internet. I'm not doing anything out else like that unless it's for like research, things like that. And I, and I just have created an environment where I can come and I can sit and I can work. You know what I mean? It's for me to work. There's no TV in here. There's no, you know, nothing I can really screw around with and waste my time with. I'm sitting here and I'm just kind of recording and researching and writing and doing things like that that uh, allows me to be creative and get my message across to all you other dads out there. So I think that's important to find a place like that, even if you don't really have it, even if you have to find, I'm, I've seen guys online like Alex Hormozzi sits in a closet. Like, dude, super, super rich, super successful, finds a closet to sit in in his house and record and work. You know what I mean? Because it's just, there's nothing in there, there's no, no distraction. So if he can find a closet in his house to do, I mean, I'm sure you guys have at least a closet or something. If I need to, if there's a lot of shit going on in my house, my last video was recorded in my car. You know what I mean? I jump in my truck and I go for a drive and I record a video. If there's just stuff going on, kids are running in and out, um, a lot of noise and things like that, everybody's home from work, school, whatever, I can kind of just jump in the car, go for a drive, get my thoughts out there, record it, you know, post it, and you guys can still consume my content, and I didn't even have to sit in my office and do it. But it's a nice, quiet, stable environment, free from distractions and stuff like that. But you've got to create a place where you can be free and, you know, manage and organize your time, organize your thoughts, and 
make sure that you're not distracted and you're not having a lot of problems. It's a positive environment for you to work in. So there are things you need to think about as far as your professional like environment. And even if you're working at work and there's a lot of shit going on and stuff like that, maybe it's time to sit and reevaluate what you're doing, what your environment looks like, how you can make it better, or maybe you just need to find something new and leave. You know, there's always an option. You know, there's always a better job out there. Uh, we don't live in a world where you graduate from high school, college, whatever it is, sit in a job for 40 years, retire and collect a pension. You know what I mean? We don't, that's not, you know, obviously there's exceptions, but that's pretty much not the way the world works anymore. So something to think about. Um, moving on from the professional side of it, man, going into your family environment. That's also important, you know what I mean? You need to create a stable, healthy environment for the people you care about, including yourself, you know, your wife, your kids, whatever, family, if you have parents living with you, things like that. You gotta create an environment that is, uh, you know, free from negative influences, free from outside distractions, free from, you know, negativity and things like that. I know it's, difficult in this world everybody's online everybody's connected everybody's kind of got their own thing going on <clears throat> people are busy you got a lot of parent households where people work two jobs or both parents work or whatever and you got outside people watching your kids or whatever and you need to stay on top of that shit as a parent you know what i mean your kids are your future your kids are our future you know these are going to be someday the future decision makers of the world and stuff like that you know when we're old and we're retired and we're starting to get on an age and bad health and things like that hopefully you know you're taking care of your diet and you're not going to be in bad health but you know someday we're going to need people under us to kind of take over things and we're still going to be around you know what i mean otherwise you end up in situations where you got you know really really old people with dementia in office and making stupid ass decisions and things like that that's a another video for another time maybe but um you know these things are important you got to think about your outside environment and the influences your kids are getting in school i know i have one 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 kid's graduated i got one kid still in public school he's a senior he's almost done and gone with public school and i can't wait my wife you know works in the public school system and she knows how i feel and she shares my feelings on things it's frustrating but I have a two-year-old daughter who will not be going to public school. You know what I mean? She will not be going to school in the world we live in anymore. There's a bunch of bullshit brainwashing and, you know, woke messaging happening and shit like that. And we're going to, you know, once she's school age, once my son's out of school, my wife's quitting the job she works at the school my son works at. And she's going to be doing homeschooling with my daughter because I'm not putting another kid through the school system anymore. It's a different envi it's an environment that I don't want her in. Uh, it's an environment I don't want my kids in anymore. It's not the same as the one I went to school in. Um, I don't necessarily always view it as safe anymore. Um, not just from like, you know, some of the, you know, stuff that's happened in the news and everything that's happened in schools a lot lately, but with the way some of the teachers are, like some of the, you know, some of the environments these schools are putting their kids in is bullshit, you know, and they're taking, they're hiding things from parents and they're taking messaging that I don't think is healthy for kids to be getting and they're pumping their brains full of, full of bullshit you know what I mean and that's the way I think it is and so I'm taking my kids out of that environment and I'm controlling the schooling environment that's the way it's going to be and I know a lot of people have problems with that in this, this society and I could give a shit less I don't care that's just the way it is so creating an environment in my house where my kids can learn to think critically, learn to, you know, have ideas and be creative and be a little free to, you know, make positive choices and ask questions and things like that without having a bunch of crazy bullshit nonsense pumped into their minds and stuff like that is the environment that I want to raise them in. And that's the environment I want to have. I want it to be a safe household with, you know, good food and, you know, just a good safe overall healthy environment where they can work out they can exercise play do whatever I don't have a bunch of crap playing on the TV they can draw they can be creative do art do whatever they need to do and learn 
you know, it's, it's important for your family to have that kind of environment, have that safe, fulfilling, creative environment where they can learn and they can express themselves um, within the safety and sanctity of their own home. You know what I mean? And then just creating a balance between, you know, <clears throat> your personal life, your family life, and everything else. It's important that, you know, when you're home, your family all feels connected to each other. You know, you're not creating an environment where everybody's sitting on their phones and ignoring each other, um, binging Netflix in one room, and then this person's playing video games in the other room. You need to have time together. You need to have time where you're all sitting down and everybody's together and connected and doing things. And that's another thing about your environment you need to set up. You need to set up an environment. There's to tons of controls you can do. You can put, you can cut your internet off in your house on with technology and things like that. These are all good ideas and things you can do to keep everybody connected and keep everybody joined and you know interacting with each other because I don't think a lot of families do that anymore. You can set a dinner time where everybody hangs out together. These are all things that I view as important and things that I try to get you guys to understand you can be doing in your own lives as well. So how do all these things kind of connect? All these things come together when you fix your different environments, your, you know, your personal health environment, your professional environment, your family environment. You start improving all these things together, <clears throat> you'll notice changes. You'll notice a domino effect in your life where everything just starts falling into place and everything starts getting better. And that's why I'm on here and I'm encouraging you guys to do this. You know, I'm encouraging you guys to fix your environments around you, fix your, fix your eating habits, get the bad shit out of your house, cut the screen time for everybody in your house, start doing things together as a family, start trying to build something, you know, collaborate with other people, collaborate with your wife and start building a, a business together. Do something creative in ways that you can benefit your family and benefit yourselves and level up in life. That's why I did this video. That's why I, that's what I'm trying to do in my own life. That's what I'm doing here. And that's what I'm encouraging you guys to all do. It's just connect with each other, take out negative outside influences and start, start building your future up. You know what I mean? And start making your family environment better. So that's basically all I got today. Um, kind of, you know, if you guys want to talk about it down in the comments, it'd be awesome. Let me know what you guys are doing, fixing your environments and leveling up in life and doing things like that. Uh, like I said before, I've got my free PDF on getting started with a carnivore diet. Go check that out. Get your shopping list. Get started. Start losing weight. Right now, a lot of dads out there, we all we all can do better, and we all, you know, we're always a work in progress. I don't care how far along you think you are, if that's something you're interested in doing, go check that out. And I will catch you guys in the next video later.